My name is Gia, I'm from France. Uh, uh, I'm an artist until I find a real job. And uh, I'm here in Berlin to do an exhibition about the preparatory work uh, for the project of Istanbul. You know, when I scout the buildings, when I walk around the city and I look for potential places where the face would match with one of those buildings, there's a combination that's supposed to work without any further information. If you want to know the story of the person, of course it would add. If you know uh, the history of the city, of course it would add. But if you just encounter that piece that I don't even sign, I never even sign my own work, it's supposed to hopefully give you, um, um, you know, depending on your own story, uh, you're going to read it differently than any other person. And depending on where you come from, depending if you grew up in that city or not, or what's your own background, that one of the reasons why I would love to be in people's head when they see those pieces, and they have to interpret them by themselves. It's crazy because we've done this project a couple of years ago, and since Istanbul have changed, and Turkey also have changed a lot, and it was already very hard to do at the time we've done it. It was not authorized by the city, the city sued us for doing it and uh, um, then finally dropped the fines after uh, the people from Istanbul and from Turkey complained that art in public space like this was not uh, embraced by the city so they had finally to remove all the, the fines but um, it's definitely a, a, a city in complete movement and constant movement but from the people I've met, they've also told me about an Istanbul that I haven't even known. Uh, Istanbul from another era. And, uh, and I was really inspired by that city, that infinite of possibilities and places. And, and I can't wait to go back there and to try to imagine new work if it's still possible today. I kind of dream about walls, that's what I do. I look at walls all day and when I hear about walls, I want to look at them. I want to go and see them. And in the last few months, you know, a year, the, the President uh, Trump had kept talking about this wall, this wall, this wall, that is actually already there for a while. And that's why I wanted to go there and sit by myself and try to put the perspective of a young, of a young child who has no political perspective, he's one year old, and who's just looking over the fence. So it came pretty naturally when I went there. There was the first house I knocked at, and the, this woman opened. And the funny thing is she was actually following me on social media. So she said, oh, I know you walk. I was like, you sure? And she's like, yeah, I think I follow you. And then she said, oh, you need my house. And her house was not functioning, but it was really close to the fence, like the closest. But then her little son was looking at me the whole time. And so that's how I decided to uh, ask her if I could photograph it. You know, I wrote a little note to the baby named Kikito and I asked him, I said, I hope one day when you grow up we'll be able to talk about that image and you'll tell me what you were thinking. <laughs> and so I'm actually uh, wondering what is he really thinking. I dream about walls, <laughs> you know. Uh, walls are inspirations to me. I don't want them being elevated, but often when they're there, I use them as a, as a canvas or make them dis disappearing inside my canvas like in, um, or for a minute when we did that long table at the border for the end of the project, we built a table, that 24 meter long table that's going through the fence and when we were eating during that hour or two, we forgot about the world just for that moment. And I think that's what art is about, changing your perspective and thing. even if it's for a short period, you'll remember it and we think about it, uh, that it can be different. Uh, curiosity, I'm a very curious person. I want to know about people uh, and I always wish to be more curious. Uh, I just did a movie with Agnès Varda, a French director who's 89 years old. And she's so curious, like deeply curious about everything. Then when I look at her, I wish I, I will be like that. And I'm thinking, am I curious enough? And I think that's the key. All the amazing artists that I've met that are you know, over 80 or the people that you see in those photographs, they've always inspired me when their curiosity and their, you know, 
the eye is still sparkling for the newest thing, whatever that is. Are we looking at things that they know but in a new way?